everything that is in our mind we first took in by our senses, said the saint and philosopher Thomas Aquinas. So when studying the human mind, how it is constituted, but also how it develops through learning, we need to study how we take in information. We humans highly rely on our eyes for this information intake. So studying where a person looked at for how long and in which order can provide us with crucial insights into learning and instruction. The method to measure this is eye tracking. My name is Halska Jarowska. I'm a full professor of online learning and instruction. And in my keynote, I would like to convince you that we can use eye tracking to understand and to improve learning and instruction. In this keynote, I will present where I see chances of eye tracking for theory building and for educational practice. We can use it to study the processes underlying learning and expertise development. We can use it to improve the instructional design of learning and testing material. We can also use it to directly enhance instructional material by eye movement modeling examples or gaze-based interaction. However, I would also like to discuss the challenges of eye tracking. First, I will address methodological limitations. How to ensure the validity and reliability of eye tracking. Second, ethical considerations. Do we want our education to be guided by even more big data? Third, legal consideration. How to responsibly use eye tracking in relation to the general data protection regulation? I would like to end with the notion that large tech companies such as on Google, Facebook, Microsoft or Apple, they have invested in eye tracking over the past years. So it is likely that eye trackers will enter our everyday lives, but also ultimately our educational system. I would like to invite you to take a peek into this possible future where eye tracking could play a responsible role in our education but also what we should refrain from. With this new technology, new chances arise, but also new responsibilities come.